What's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming by to hang out. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Hope all is well. So, I finally got my Black Friday purchases. Yes! Black leather and Grip Royal. So as you can tell by the boxes, I got a new steering wheel and the black die. It's for the leather, because if you've seen my previous videos, if you haven't seen it, I have red interior and I want to dye it black. So I'm going to give this guy a chance. We're going to do it together and see how it goes out. All right, cool. And then the Grip Royal steering wheel. What? Oh, thank you. Pretty cool. Sweet little sticker. Installations. But. This wheel. It is the Grip Royal Night 2. In leather. Looks so good. So some backstory. I've been looking for a steering wheel, well basically ever since I got the 240. And it does have this really nice Momo steering wheel, but I got it with the car and it just never felt like it was truly my steering wheel. And so this Grip Royal steering wheel was something I had my eyes on and they had a good deal. You know me, you give me a good deal, I'll show you a good time. <laughs> and I finally pulled the trigger on getting this sick night to I'm super stoked for it. Now for the horn button, I got the Vilante Tomoe shouting gun horn button. I know it's a little overplayed, but it's just something that I've always wanted and just because something is overplayed and maybe overdone by a whole bunch of other people, if something that you want to do to your car, dude, do it. Don't let anything stop you like that. All right, so let's get to work, dude. Put you down. Let's move the car out of the garage so it's able to see a little bit better with the lighting, even though it's dreary in Ocala. Hopefully, with me parking it outside, it's a little bit different. You can see the difference between the black and the red interior, and the B-roll, it helps, you know? So, I'm not gonna lie, once upon a time, the red, the hit, pretty sure brand new, it was really nice. But, you know, 10 years later, 15 years later, this is the red interior. And hopefully, we'll be changing that guy out right The interior will be refreshed. We're back in the 240. We're in the garage. It should be a pretty easy, relatively easy install. Just a steering wheel and a horn button. We'll tackle that first. And then, we'll get the seats out. Dye those black. Sounds like a plan? Alright, boogie. So, to take off, to start off, I have to take off these six. Cheers. 
And just like that, the steering wheel and heart button are already off. Pretty sick. It's gonna essentially look like that. Just looks like these two terminals. Hmm, which one's a positive and which one's the ground, huh? Just connect it. Nice. All right. So it seems pretty simple and very straightforward. Let's mount the new sick, awesome Grip Royal Night 2 steering wheel. And then we'll connect the E-horn and tighten everything up. This is the rotator spacer that I had to buy to make the Grip Royal steering wheel fit with the NRG hub. All I have to do is just line it up to the holes. There we go. And it'll finally be straight. It took me two weeks to figure out which adapter worked for my needs. Steering wheel is on. Nice and tight. This grip feels good. I'm stoked. So now, all we have to do is put on the horn button. So sick. Good. Works good. Alrighty guys, so the steering wheel, check. Horn button, check. I gotta say, looks pretty good. Now we have to move on to the second part of the video, which is making the red black. So here's a look what it looks like now, and hopefully, what I got will help the cracking that you can see. But we won't know until we find out. So let's get to work. But first, let's get everything out of the car and get the seats out. So it'll be easier to apply all the black stuff. Let's do it. So, as you can see, I got the seats out. For this project, I'm only going to be doing the passenger seat and also the back seats because my Recaro driver's seat is already black and blue. So, I just figured if I made everything black, that blue and black would be less of an eyesore and everything would tie in a lot better. Let's take a look at the condition of my seats currently now and uh, let's clean them up as best as we can and dye in black. Very weathered. Once upon a time, these red seats were pretty clean. Time I'm done. I'm 
I'm gonna start with the black dye. One I have is Doc Bailey's. Another black. Black vinyl. Same, same old. No. It's the same, right? So, this kit comes with this little sponge. And I guess a buffing pad. So what you're supposed to do is you keep applying it to the sponge, you wipe it, you buff it off until you leave a nice thin layer and it cures itself. Pretty cool. I think I fucked up guys, it does not look good. Oh man, like wow. I think it's because the seats are real leather and they are vinyl leather. That's probably why, that's why the product's not really... But I, I really don't know, maybe I have to put a second layer and a third layer, but here's a close up of what it looks like now. Just looks like a dirtier version of that one. Um, but right now, it is not persuading me to do the rest of the seats. I mean, um, I don't know what I was expecting, but I was hoping that it was going to be a lot better than this. It's so dirty looking. Uh... Alright, well, let's give it some time to cure and see what happens. Alrighty guys, so I totally messed up, but at least I can tell you guys my mistakes, so you wouldn't be making the same mistakes like me. <laughs> the mistake I made was trying to dye my red vinyl seats with this black leather, but the thing is, it doesn't really dye it. It's more of a restore, and it's only meant for things that are already black, so it didn't work. So I figured, how am I gonna get my seats black if it's not that? And a buddy of mine told me, have you tried spray painting it black? Spray painting your seats. Ah, uh, I guess it was something I never thought of, but I came across this, Duplicolor. Hopefully this is something that could help me out with this. Alrighty dudes, so, I finally finished the passenger seat. Take a look. What? Now it's black? Not bad. Oh my god! The results of spray painting the seat really wasn't that bad. Check it out. So I took off the tape, and unfortunately, there's still little bits of red that I guess I didn't tape well enough. Right here, right here. And originally, I wanted to keep this fake carbon weave, but now that I think about it, it's black. So to kind of get rid of all these little red mistakes that I kind of have still from being able to be seen. Hey, Kai. Um, we're gonna paint the whole thing, including this fake carbon fiber weave. And um, see how it turns out, but so far, so good. Next up are the back seats.
seats dried overnight and this is our end result I wanted to take it into sunlight and see what it really looks like hopefully on camera translate to how well it came out are looking good I'm pretty happy with how it came out you want to hear something funny <laughs> look at this paint mark on my perfect driveway when I had those little workhorses literally right behind me as I was painting on the floor <sighs> prep matters guys whenever you paint something take your time prep matters but let's get these into the car. Well guys, there you have it. I know I goofed a lot. Which goes to show you have to keep pushing forward. Ended up taking two different adapters for me to get it right. For me to make this grip royal steering wheel to work for my car for this NRG hub. And then it took me two different kinds of uh, black dye or, I mean I definitely goofed on the black shoe refinishing so yeah, but who would have known that you can spray paint your vinyl seats and it would come out pretty pretty good. Uh, just take your time, make sure you use uh, a prep, like a wax and degrease removal spray before you spray paint. No, you don't need to primer, don't do it. Follow the instructions, take your time, and it'll come out pretty good. It's just, for me, it's the little interior bits that I see all the time and that I'm touching that make it a little bit more awesome you know it's nuts how far this car is, has come along I've never really thrown a ton of money in this car I've always seen it as if you could build your cars in a budget why not and put the money where you can you know you guys um, thanks for hanging out happy new year be safe out there wear your seat belts <laughs> I'm super stoked for what next year has in store for us and please leave a like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content and I'll catch you guys next year